Two, baby. It's just two minutes. Your two minute tax tip starts now. What's up, YouTube? It's your accountant in the sky. In this video, we're going to cover the tax reform changes that happen to corporate tax rates. That's right, baby. Job well done. Job well done. That is, if you have a C corporation, not an S corporation or a partnership or a pass through, but if you have a C corporation, we're going to talk about all the tax reform items that happen to that particular aspect of owning a business. We only have two minutes, so let's dive right in. All right, so here are the basics. A C corporation is basically a separate entity. It's recognized as a separate tax paying entity. A majority of Americans who own businesses are not C corporations. They're what they call pass throughs. Even though the tax reform did affect pass throughs, this particular video, we're actually going to talk about the entities that are not pass throughs. They're a separate tax paying entity. A C corporation's profits are taxed to the corporation when they earn it. So when your business makes money and it has net income, it's actually taxed as a C corp at that level. And then when it actually is distributed, it's taxed again to the shareholder as dividend. So starting in 2018, going forward, the tax reform did affect C corporations. Starting January 1st of 2018, the graduated corporate tax rates, that is the four or five different tax brackets that the C corporations had, even some at the highest level of 35%, were all replaced by a flat 21%. And on top of that, the alternative minimum tax, which is another tax that C corporations pay was completely repealed through the tax reform. So here's a quick visual for you guys. I want to show you before the tax reform and the effects after the tax reform. So as you can see here, there were four graduated tax brackets for C corporations, as little as 15% for the first $50,000 of taxable income, then 25%, then 34%, then all the way to 35%. But with the tax reform starting 2018 going forward indefinitely, all four brackets were replaced by just a flat 21%. So no matter what you make as a C corporation, your flat tax will be 21%. Now this is an amazing tax reform because if you look at the old bracket system, after $75,000 of your profits, it got taxed at 34% all the way through the first 10 million. This actually was replaced by 21%. So there's going to be significant tax savings as a C corporation with the new reform. There is a little caveat though with the new tax reform, the net operating losses, which C corporations can have in the new reform, the carry back two year limitation was actually totally repealed. So you can't carry back your losses, but the good news is in the old, tax law, the carry forward was limited to 20 years, but in the new tax reform, you can carry them forever. All right, guys, we're out of time. Oh, but wait a minute. We have enough time for bonus tip. Bonus tip. Bonus. So there is another caveat for C corporations in the tax reform. It's utilization percentages. Well, this basically means that if you have a loss, in the old law, you can actually utilize that loss 100%. Or if your business, let's say, had a loss of $10,000 and then the next year you had a $10,000 profit, you can utilize 100% of that loss up against 100% of that net income. But in the new reform, the utilization is actually limited to 80%. So if you had a $10,000 loss that you were carrying forward and the next year you had a $10,000 profit, you can only use 80% of that $10,000 loss. So $8,000 loss gets applied to the $10,000 net income. So there's a limitation there as far as the net operating loss utilization and the period. But when you take all this into account, at the end of the day, it's the brackets that really drive this awesome reform as far as C corporations are concerned. Lowering the rates as high as from 35% from down to 21% is a huge benefit for people who own C corporations. All right, guys, thanks for watching. If you're on the fence about being a C corporation versus an S corporation, be sure to subscribe. We're going to have more videos that are going to touch on that subject so that way you guys are informed. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you guys at the next video. Wow, that was the best two minutes of your life. Hey, thanks for watching. Hopefully we were able to answer all your questions with our two minute tip. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the button below and check out this video over here for our latest release and that playlist down there for our best playlist. And we'll see you guys at the next video.